today's video is brought to you by Eurocars, part of IWS Holdings, located at 451 Colombo Candy Road, Kelania. Come check them out if you're interested in getting a Porsche. How's it going my car dudes? Liam here from the Car Dudes channel. Today I am proud to present you all a review of the 2019 facelifted Porsche Macan. So as always, I'm going to give you guys a full and in-depth review of this Macan. I will show you guys the interior and the exterior of the SUV. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Starting off with the trunk, you can either open it via the key fob, or, unknown to many people, a little trick to open it via the tailgate itself, there's a little button hidden under a wiper blade. The seats are 40-20-40 split folding. You also have tie down hooks, a power outlet, and a first aid kit. We have a cargo cover. Overall, it's a very good size. Coming to the back seat. very wide opening doors should make it easy to fit child seats in as you can see we have the isofix mountings right here rear sunshades storage in the door popping in here this seat is Put in a position that I will be comfortable in. I, comfortable in. I'm about six foot three. It is a little tight, but it's not. It's not bad. I can, as you can see, I, put, I can put my feet under the seat because it's rather high. Um, people under six foot one will be just fine back here. We have two USB ports, a rear AC controls, two cup holders very plush center armrest. Let's try middle seat comfort. There is a little bit of a hump in the floor for the transmission, but the, um, the uh, footwells are fairly large, so you won't be fighting as much with uh, people on the side. Knee room isn't that big of a problem. Um, headroom is actually it's pretty good, because uh, this one has a panoramic sunroof, so this can just go up. Um, so taller people would be just fine in the back, especially in the middle. Overall, not a bad back seat whatsoever. Here's the key for the Macan. Typical Porsche style key. It's actually in the shape of the old generation Panamera. Lock, unlock and our trunk release. This does have smart key access. Right now the car is locked. To unlock it, just make sure you have your key fob within the proximity of the vehicle. Just grab the back of the door handle. And to unlock it, there's a little indent on either the driver or passenger side door handle to lock it. Just touch your thumb there, and the car will lock. The exterior color is known as Mamba Green. Very good uh, step in height. It's not too high, it's not too low, it's just right. Along with that smart key access system, this car does have keyless start, so just make sure you have the key fob within the proximity of the vehicle and twist the key fob, the built in key fob, to start. Has an electrically assisted three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. Very smooth power steering. Sport grip extensions at 10 and 2. This does, have, this does have Porsche's 7 speed PDK transmission. 
with Tiptronic shifting. Shifting it to reverse, we have a backup camera with our different options. So front camera, rear camera, side view, a wide angle front, wide angle rear, and a 360 top down view. Along with our electronic parking brake right here. Right now it is engaged. To disengage it, put your foot on the brake and push down. And to engage it, just pull up. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the automatic headlamps, the fog lights. So as the hazards can pop the hood. All four windows are fully automatic. And we'll go ahead and check out the exterior. This Macan has a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder producing 252 brake horsepower and 273 foot-pounds of torque, has a 0-100 to time of 6.5 seconds and a top speed of 229 kilometers per hour. Now when you think Porsche, you think fast, gorgeous sports cars, but believe it or not, Porsche, this car company known for making a car that hasn't changed its looks in 140 13 years make pretty awesome SUVs the Macan was launched in 2014 but Porsche had been working on it since 2010 the Macan was officially available globally as of 2016 the Macan is also a safe family car having scored five stars in Euro NCAP safety test receiving 88% adult protection and 87% child protection the Macan is based off the first generation Audi Q5, which explains why it has such a good ride. But Porsche have Porsche-fied it. My dad drove a GTS version of this a couple of years ago, and he was amazed at how impressive the handling was. The 2019 update brought Porsche's new 10.9-inch infotainment screen to the Macan, and more subtle updates throughout both the interior and the exterior of the car. Awards for the Macan include the South African Car of the Year, 2015. As of July 2018, Porsche have sold over 350,000 Macans worldwide, with over 100,000 of them accounting for sales in China alone. The looks of the updated Macan are subtle and significant at the same time. At the front, you'd recognize the Macan's trademark clamshell bonnet with cutouts for the headlights. However, around the back, it has a taillight strip running across the tailgate resembling a 911 Carrera 4S. The Macan may look cute and understated, but get behind the wheel and you'll find just how far it is from that. The big 21-inch wheels give it a prominent stance and make it look bigger almost like a Cayenne that's shrunk in the laundry. But no matter, the Macan is a handsome beast and definitely a head turner for anyone it drives past. Coming to the interior, car windows, locks and mirrors. Three person memory seat for the driver and passenger. 18 way power adjustable driver's seat. Stepping into this Macan, you're greeted by a very, very luxurious environment. Um, thing that's everyone, that everyone's talking about is this big new infotainment system. We'll come to that later. So starting off as usual, here we have your aircon controls. A fan speed. It is quad zones. So we have individual zones, temperatures, and um, fan speeds for the driver and passenger.
one touch AC, max AC, sink and recirculation. We have, over here we have your defrost, uh, your hill descent control and your hazard lights. Coming down here we have three stage heated and ventilated seats for both the driver and passenger. Down here we have your traction control, Porsche active suspension management. This is to lower the ride height and off-road mode. This is lane keep assist and your uh, start stop. Coming to the stereo system, this has the upgraded Bose system, which trust me, it makes a humongous difference. It's absolutely amazing. Take a listen for yourself. So yeah, absolutely packs a punch. Now what's got everybody talking is the new infotainment system. Um, just like Audi, Porsche has gone to a full touchscreen. They, they were a touchscreen before, but now it's a massive big screen. So over here we have all the shortcut buttons. So we have settings, sound, car, phone, media. And we also have some shortcut buttons down here. So for navigation, it is uh, pinched to zoom. It's a pretty clear map. As you can see, phone, car, so this is where you can have all your settings right here. So I'll turn the air down and we can adjust all sorts of settings. So vehicle settings, we have a back button right here, displays, you can adjust the display, the brightness, that sort of stuff, system and driver's manual. Now up here, we can adjust the parking assist. So as you can see, we have a full 360 view on the side. You can actually turn that off with the push of a button, or you can bring it back if you want, or you can have nothing but a 360 view. And I demonstrated this earlier. Now this button right here in the top right, that's a home button. So this is your home screen. So you have navigation, voice control, media, telephone, that kind of stuff. You can obviously uh, configure it to your liking. So if you can figure, you can see, you can choose which one you want. Media, telephone, navigation, so on and so forth. Now coming up here, we have your dome light controls. If this light is on, then the, the lights will not come on when you open the door. This, is a, this, this button right here is to turn all the lights on. We have a full panoramic sunroof. Goes right to the back. One touch. And you can open it. Uh, you can open the glass with this button right here. Now, as you can see, Porsche is actually known for this huge um, cluster of buttons here. It's actually a, a kind of a, um, a um, distinctive thing about Porsches. We have a little ashtray right here with a cigarette lighter and two cup holders. Opening this up, we have two USB ports. I'll give you guys a light so you guys can see. Two USB ports and a and an SD card slot. And that um, the piece right at the bottom, it's a rubber piece. It is removable, just like in that Audi Q3 I reviewed recently. You can remove that and uh, you can clean it out. It is adjustable to your liking. Coming to the steering wheel, as you can see, we have your standard steering wheel controls. On this side, we have the volume controls. This is to pick up the call. And this button, as you can see, it goes straight to your home page. Which is pretty cool and this button right these, this side of the controls this is to decline the call and this is to control this button right here and this um, knob right here that's to control the screen on the side so as you can see we have your all-wheel drive system sport chrono vehicle audio that sort of stuff navigation you can start the stopwatch Pretty simple to use and uh, very intuitive. Now this right here, this is the Sport Chrono. Um, this gives you, uh, th that gives you that uh, clock up there, as you can see. It turns into a stopwatch. So for example, okay, so if I go into um, the stopwatch setting or Chrono, if I click start, this clock resets and becomes a stopwatch. So if you're thrashing your Macan on the, on the track, uh, you can 
time yourself and show off to your friends how good of a driver you are. You can round it up, can lap it, very cool system. Stop, reset, pretty cool and then as you can see it goes back to being a normal clock. As I was talking about Sport Chrono earlier, we have four different modes, so right now this is normal, Sport, I don't know if you heard, but the exhaust does thicken. Let's have a listen of that. So this is in normal mode. Sport Plus and Individual. So you can configure whatever driving style you like. And this button right here, this gives you like uh, 20 seconds of boost. So let's go into, let's close the door here. As you can see, we have 20 seconds of sport response. So basically, it'll give you every possible pony the engine can put out. It'll um, quick fasten the gear changes, um, all that stuff. It'll make the car as fast as it can go. Like a little uh, boost, I guess you could say. I failed to mention, but we do have paddle shifters and they're very, very nice paddle shifters. They are um, aluminum, very, very good quality. Now coming to the materials on the dashboard, being a Porsche you'd expect them to have good quality and uh, they do. Everything on the top is soft touch materials, everything's very good. The wood is very nice, it feels genuine. Um, even if we go down here, it's not scratchy plastics, it's still soft. Um, everything is just exquisite, as you can see the leather stitch shift boot, you can see how nice that is. All the metals, the chrome finishings, everything feels very, very premium in here. Even the air vents. Um, as far as comfort-wise goes, these seats are super comfy. Very, very supportive. They're great for long journeys. And I'll demonstrate here we have the thigh support extension. Which would definitely be useful. But yeah, great seats, super comfy, just great, great seats. They're not uh, too hard, and if you are thrashing the car on a racetrack, they will support you very well. Here, you can change the song, as you can see, track list, so I can go to Burn if I want. Pretty simple system to use, and as you can see, that little thing right there, that's the lane keep assist, so if you turn that off, that goes away. We have our um, turn signal stock and this is actually your um, voice commands. So let's see if I want to switch sources. Play station 99.2. 99.2 megahertz. Pretty cool. And on this side we have your wiper controls. And down here we have your cruise control. Alrighty. That's about it for this one. Well guys, thank you for watching my review on this 2019 Porsche Macan. As always, let me know what you guys think of the review and leave some suggestions of cars I should review in the comment section below. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Drive safely till then.